What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Random Examples. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Today I am doing stuffed flame steak with mozzarella cheese. Also there's a little spinach up in there. I've already fried up some bacon right here. Everything goes good with bacon, which is over here. I got some mashed potatoes going. I also have some asparagus. Got the asparagus going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my fire here. I'm doing it on a medium heat. You see there? Wait, did you see it? Okay, there it goes. I'm just going to get a little sear on my stuffed flank steak. Flank steak. Okay, make sure I say that right. I'm just going to get a little sear. So I'm going to treat this like if I'm cooking filet mignon mm -hmm. so i'm gonna sear the this side and the other side as well take some of this leafy greenery off i'm gonna do it all the way around see you got his little tie on there oh yes 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 i'm gonna do it all the way around and i'm going to do that inside of here i'm also going to wrap the bacon that i pre-cooked for it if I can, I probably cook it a little too tough. So I might use this grilled one. Let's see, yeah, that grilled one's real flexible. But that's fine, I can still use this for some other garnishment. However, I'm gonna cook it in here, let it sear, and then I'm gonna put it in my oven that I already have preheat at 350 degrees, the entire pot. Yes, also this grease that you see is the bacon grease. I'm gonna incorporate that with this steak Put it in the oven and make sure that the steak in the middle is 150 to 55 degrees is the way I like it. And then we're going to move on from there. So let's get to it. A little sizzle there. Just turn on the fire so it is not all the way hot. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this out. I appreciate the supermarket adding that little flex on there. <laughs> oh man, this one right there, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of it out. Just my preference. <laughs> I'm over here holding my laugh. I'm not really digging off in this thing. Oh my goodness. This one was all over it. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that in there. I'm just shuffling it around on purpose, trying to get some of that bacon grease on there. I'm gonna let it do its thing for just a moment while I do some more prepping. Okay. So now, I'm just prepping my little bowl here for my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some heavy whipped cream. <laughs> I made a little blue sample. <laughs> Going in with the pepper. Mm -hmm. Do a little garlic powder. A little garlic powder, okay. That was quite a bit, but <laughs> it's fine. This is some onion powder. Going in with some salt. All right. And then I got some buttermilk. Put that on up in there. And I'm also going to go in with some minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Like that, like that. I'm actually going to put a little bit more pepper. Okay. Now I'm about to add some butter <laughs> okay <laughs> that just flopped in there all right and now i'm about to go in and add the potatoes so i'm gonna move over here Let's turn these potatoes off the steak is over there still doing what i told it to do right i'm actually gonna take my tongs i think i'm gonna take my tongs let me see if i can grab it y'all <laughs> Nope, I don't even want to risk that. So just a second, I'm gonna um, 
go ahead and drain these potatoes because I ain't got time for no spill juice and water and butter all over me for one moment. Okay, love. So I got that in there and I'm just going to mash them potatoes up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I switched to the wooden spoon after I got my potatoes smashed up. And I just stirred them up some more. We'll come back to that in just a second. We'll come over back to the safe. Okay now. <laughs> come on now. I got it. That cheese. That cheese was sticky, y'all. I'm going to turn my um fire down for a low. Uh -uh. I don't need the cheese burning so I can get it to where I want it. So yeah, let's see what it's looking like. Let's see if you get me my camera, but come on. Same move. Okay, y'all, back to the potatoes. My babies had asked for some chives in the potatoes, so I'm adding a healthy amount in there and I'm going to stir that up. All right, y'all. So, got that stirred up. Now I'm going to uh, put that bacon in there. <laughs> yes, bacon. Come on, bacon. Oh, my goodness, yes. That looks amazing. Ooh. All right, boo. So, I just literally put the bacon <laughs> around it, as you can see. I just took it and tucked and put that mug all around it. And it's about to go in the oven. Grab my handy dandy oven mitt. Mm -hmm. The whole thing, yes, the whole thing. It's the iron skillet. You can take it. And we'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this mess. <laughs> I gotta clean it up, y'all. Friends, I'm just checking on this uh, steak. It's doing fabulous. Look at that juice. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Garlic in there. Put some Jamaican jerk. Island spice. You already know what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this butter, I just put some minced garlic, onion powder, some island spice jerk seasoning, and then just regular, regular butter. And I'm about to put this in the microwave. While that butter's in the microwave for a minute, I'm just putting a little bit of Old Bay. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, come on. Yes. This is just straight up butter. So this is my little salmon joint. Some more old, <laughs> um, this is actually not obey. I was about to say obey, but this is more island. Okay. Turning on my smokeless. Got my smokeless grill going. The little juice you see on there is some bacon. Just gonna flat. <laughs> Popping that joint right on there. Pop. Mm-hmm. Remember that butter I put in the microwave? Well, here she is. I'll take it. And spread it on there. Okay, now that I've added my flavored specialty butter, I'm going to let that do what it do. And then I'll flip it and base it some more. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check on this asparagus. Yes, asparagus. I'm going to let this asparagus keep doing what it do. Because I want mine real soft. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Look at that juice. That ain't nothing but butter and seasoning. 
onion, garlic, um, minced garlic, salt, pepper. I believe that's all I put in there. And butter. <laughs> Alright, checking on that mozzarella popping up out of that steak. Yes. I just checked the temperature. It's at 150. So this is what I want. Okay. Here we go. Just basting it a bit. Okay, so recap. We got my flink steak. I went ahead and made some broccoli. Remember those mashed potatoes? Yep. Got the shrimp going. Let's move on over here and the salmon, okay? And then, ooh, just opening up my oven, y'all. Got the asparagus going. Okay. Yes, all that is happening. Now I'm about to pop some yeast rolls in the oven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so y'all know that little butter I had put in the microwave to go on top of the salmon. I love veggies of all sorts. So what I did was like, oh, let me just chop this up real quick. Stick them in this butter. And I'm gonna put them on the smokeless grill. Mm-hmm. She did what? I put some butter, girl it. <laughs> all that good jazz. I dipped the veggies in here. As you see me doing, yep. And I put them on my smokeless grill. Now, I'm gonna take the onions and I'm actually gonna put it on top of my salmon. I'm gonna do that right now. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. It's happening! 